I think the number one thing would have to be making sure you are really prepared to take care of the animals, man. Take care of sheep. They like they like children, bro. So, you know, the sheep don't care if you got enough sleep last night. The sheep don't care if you were sick, you having a bad day. I mean, just like a child, bro, they don't care nothing about none of that. They trying to figure out where the food at, where the water at, you know, who's supposed to be sharing all this hair off my back, who's supposed to be clipping my hooves, you know, make sure you are really prepared to take on that responsibility to, to have that a part of your life, to have that planned, scheduled, a part of your life. Because you're supposed to take care of the sheep so they can take care of you. But if you're not in that position and you neglect them in any way, shape, or form, it'll be wasted money. And, you know, it'll be a waste of your time and a waste of theirs. You know, this can be very beneficial, man, having sheep, regardless of what avenue you take. But you're not ready. Mentally ready, physically ready, emotionally prepared to have these sheep in your life and to make them a priority in your life, bro. Ain't no reason to get them in the first place. You know? And and create a support system, bro. Like, I know you can see a lot of channels and they got homesteads and, you know, and I respect all of them, but they got their families in it. You know, it's a family homestead. They got husband, wife, children, and family members that, you know, across the street or people they can call to sub if they need to, you know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to do all of this by yourself, you know, definitely harder to do it by yourself. I mean, by any means, you got to do it, but, you know, you definitely want to have a support system when you, when you are starting a, a farm of any sort, dealing with any, any sort of animal. You know, because if you got anything going on in your life, you ain't got nobody to call on, call on, them animals going to suffer while you gone. So, you know, protect your investment at all costs. That's what I mean by prepare yourself. Uh, man, prepare yourself. Sheep is, <laughs> man, them dorpers, man, as soon as they see me, they crying out. They crying immediately. I could see them in the morning, could see them in the afternoon, see them in the evening. It don't matter what time I see them, they're going to cry out. Even if they don't need anything, they're going to cry out. You know, you just got to be prepared. Got to be prepared to serve the sheep, man, because they not waiting on nobody but you. <laughs> so that'll be my number one thing, bro. Make sure you are prepared to really take care of these sheep, man. They depending on you with their lives. They depending on you with everything, you know. So make sure you got things in place to make sure they'll be 100% taken care of with no problems, with no issues. Uh, you know, that'll definitely be the biggest advice I can give anybody before they really get sheep or, or any animal. You get some chickens, you get some cattle, you get some goats, you know, you get some ducks, rabbits, you know, whatever, whatever your thing may be, please make sure you are really prepared to take care of those animals. Uh, protect that investment at all costs because, you know, you can see light at the end of the tunnel on the other side. Definitely a lot of opportunities. But, you know, if you wasn't ready, you know, and I, I'm speaking from experience, bro. If you are not ready to take care of them, it's going to be money down the drain. Money down the drain. I just want to be real with you about that. You know, people think, you know, they see a couple videos and, yeah, man, I could do that. I can build that. I can make that happen. You know, next check, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like this and I'm going to do it like that. You can have all the greatest ideas in the world, my man. 
but to be totally, totally, totally honest with you, if you don't have a plan, if you don't have nothing written down, if you ain't got this scheduled to a T, how you gonna do it? You ain't thought about the feed prices. You ain't thought about the home. How you gonna set them up? Do you got good water? You got supplements for them? You know, do you you know where to get the salt blocks from? Do you are you making sure they getting all the nutrition uh, uh, for certain animals? They got certain supplements to do certain things for them. You know, it's 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 a lot, bro. So if you just jump right in there, man, you gonna have to deal with that, and it's not nothing you really want to deal with. So please, all my future farmers and homesteaders, you know, and this don't just apply to sheep, this apply to any animal. Please make sure you make sure you are ready mentally, physically, making sure you're ready to make this a part of your life for real. Because if you don't take it seriously, all that dreaming and goals and aspirations that you had when you was watching all those other people do the things that you know you can do and didn't really take into account of how much work it really is, that failure gonna hurt. That failure gonna hurt. So man, please make sure you're ready to make this a part of your life, man. This Don't get me wrong, love the life, love it. But it is a lot of work that goes into it and I am not by myself far from being by myself with this, man. So, you know, I'm big on having that support system, family around you. You know, this is not a job I would recommend anybody do alone. But man, that's, that is my two cents, man. Definitely make sure you prepare mentally, physically, spiritually before you get started, man, with any animals, any type of homestead, you know. Y'all got any questions, man? You know, leave it in the comments. You know, if I got the answer, if I don't, I'll find the answer. But, uh, man, I appreciate y'all time, man. Y'all have a good one.